The fact of the matter is, you are entering a new world when you sleep. You descend the spiral staircase into the frequency that your pineal gland resonates on. And your DNA was birthed from. Basically, when you're not sleeping, your spirit is still there doing things that you would normally do as a human. You're in two worlds. One world is a dream state induced by activation of the pineal gland resonating on the highest frequency. The other world is the pineal gland resonating on the lowest frequency. Both worlds are influenced by receptors. For the low frequency, the GABA receptor is the main frequency, which uses the cannabinoid system as retrograde frequency. In other words, you have two main neurotransmitters that cause a frequency in the pineal gland. The GABA does the inhibiting effect, while cannabinoid system reverses it through retrograde signaling. The combined result is your consciousness while awake. The main system while sleeping is the serotonin system. DMT and melatonin being the main molecules which allow activation and resonating on the highest frequency. You are more human than you can imagine. You have a spirit and also a human body. Who knows which is the real state to exist in? Both bring purpose and reason. Both are real and both have beauty. When you enter the dream world, you are only viewing a portion of what is happening behind the veil. You are transported to the spiritual realm when you are sleeping. You can call anyone from there and they can appear. Likewise, all the people you meet there are alive in the real realm. You just have to know how to find them. They will only know you are dreaming about them if you let them know that. The spiritual realm is a perfect place to exist where you have a life and do normal things, but it depends on what type of spirit you have as to what you do in the spiritual realm. The spiritual realm is based off of what your physical body does in the real realm with higher frequency. You have less time to think and less time to react to stimuli because you are entering a state in which your pineal gland does most of the work for you. You mostly just feel the presence and know. This is the way spiritual realm works. First you must enter it, know you are awake and dreaming. Then you are automatically placed into a form which suits what you normally function as. The suit is made from your soul. It is what you no normally are because you are taking that from in the real realm. Once there, you can act as you normally do in the real realm or you can act as a spirit in the spiritual realm, such, floating, such, a thing, such as floating through walls and flying. This is why your imagination is. You can imagine anything happening and know it's real and perform the task. Body language has big keys in this transformation. Your normal cues are diminished in the spiritual realm because you no longer need them to function. In dreams, you must remember that we are all one and because of this, you do not need anything besides your own voice to be heard. All you need is your previous knowledge and a pair of ears. In the spiritual realm, you can find your twin flame. This can be your guiding hand to knowledge based on artificial knowledge. You must find there, for you do, and this realm is a place of healing as well. You can heal easily in this realm and enter it knowing all and seeing all. To activate your pineal gland permanently is to step out of an active war zone into a place where time no longer manifests itself but instead revolves around you and through you. Dreams are meant to be tested. They are meant to guide you through belief. This is there so, they, so that you can understand the power of two. One pineal gland, one body, and mind. These two things make up everything we perceive. Because of this, we are made out of many things, one of which is made from a fossilized coral. This is because we are entering a stage in our development in which time is not needed to see truth. We are becoming one with everything, just as the changes around us allow us to see the greater picture of why we can view and not view. We will be part of this greater picture in which we are allowed to see the changes before us 
and present them as a great opportunity to view more and more and more until there is nothing left but a large heaping soul collection. And this is the way which we can perform more tasks and view more knowledge. Some are just a little behind, which is why there are more than two of us. We are here to sleep and make things right within us. Store memory cells and have dreams. We are made this way so we can perform no longer under stress and view the world as if we were one. Thank you everybody for listening. On behalf of Greg Prescott and the entire staff at N5D, Namaste.